Good morning. All right, starting this one off with an Instacart. It is 29 bucks going about six miles. 34 items, 43 units, shopping at Giant. Let's go. This, this is the cart. It's going good. I'm sitting here in a shopping center because that's where the address is. There's one, two, three, four four five different uh units in the shopping center and it doesn't say which unit to drop it off at and i just don't feel like going to every single one of these businesses here to find out which one heather ordered her food to so maybe she'll text me back soon hopefully all right so it turns out instacart let me just deliver that order to their address and not it didn't give me any crap about you're at the lo wrong location but while i was driving from the location that the app said they're supposed to drop off the app just kept it wouldn't load it just kept crashing and reloading and crashing and reloading so then i lost my first chat with support and then the second chat with support i just completed the order so i didn't even really need his help but yeah the customer was like oh i'll come and meet you i don't know how it ended up with that address and uh she gave me an extra 20 bucks because obviously i didn't make her come and meet me it was only three miles up the road and the other weird thing about this is it, instacart said that was her first time using instacart and when i dropped it off to her she was like i've ordered a bunch of times i don't know why i don't know how it got that address <sighs> but that made that one take a lot longer and a lot more effort so i am super grateful for this 20 dollars because <laughs> that took a lot of extra um time and effort and i'm still talking to support because they asked me if i had to drive additional miles so let's see if they give me an extra 20 cents or something all right so i was going to end the chat with support but they asked me how many miles i had to drive extra and they gave me an extra three bucks i'll take it that's an extra dollar per mile that's not that's more than i was expecting like i said in the last time <laughs> 20 cents is what i thought they'd give me but all right uh, so that was a good start to the day we made 50 bucks already in one order and now i look at the app again and it's gone from three dollars to two dollars whatever it's still more money than i was gonna make so i'm not gonna complain even though it's pretty ridiculous that they <laughs> just their shopper bump uh god i'm fumbled up here so, shopper bump baiting me all right so after dropping off that instacart i was kind of near the wegmans so came and sat at the wegmans because you can get doordash uber or instacart orders sitting here and i got an uber order not the greatest one but we got we got to make some money so eight bucks going a little bit more than four miles so that's decent. Picking up at Bon Chan. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. All right, just got a DoorDash picking up at the Chick Fil A. Seven dollars seventy-five cents. It's going five point five miles, but I don't feel like sitting at Wegman's anymore. So this one goes right back towards my house. So we're, we're gonna get it done. Hello. Got a DoorDash for Emma. Yeah. Have a good one. All right. I got the DoorDash dropped off. I got another Instacart. I went home, grabbed my water that I bought at 7-Eleven yesterday when I was dying at the skate park. Anyway, forty dollars, twelve point two miles. 37 items 50 something units let's go shopping all right no drop-off action for the first instacart 
I like how the mileage goes on this one. It made me go to the person who lives further away and then I drive right back to the person who lives close. Really stupid to have one person's order sitting in the hot car all that time, but I don't come up with the routing, I just follow the instructions. y'all let me tell y'all about my crack finger i seen this one i was like fumbling i was like oh no i'm not gonna get it 65 dollars going 10 miles i think it was 50 items and the gift that keeps on giving the naughty list the third customer two dollar tipper they live all the 10 miles away so what are we gonna do we're not gonna shop for them we're gonna shop for the other two people only drive a couple miles and make really good money so let me contact support and we will get shopping. I didn't get much drop off action for the second Instacart. But I lost like 10, a little more than 10 bucks on that. So that's why you gotta be careful when you're canceling on these people. I mean, I'll take it because I would have drove an extra 20 miles, you know, 10 miles out to that customer, 10 miles back. So I'd rather not do that. All right, I got another crack finger. I don't know what's going on today, but the orders are out there. Freaking, this one, what was it, like $67, like 50-something items. It is going 29 miles, shopping for two customers, but I'm planning on going to see my mom's for a little while. So after I drop this one off, I'll be right in the area I want to be in. So we get into Wegmans and we go and shop. I got all discombobulated with that Instacart. It was just, both of them got like 30 items. So, I, I don't know. Usually I do a good job of remembering what's A and what's B, but I got them all mixed up. Not all mixed up, but basically like the paper towels and the toilet paper and the sodas, all the stuff that's under the cart, I got mixed up which order it went with, so. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, so, dropped off the first order, not hyped on what I saw, because I had to go rummaging through the bags to get a flank steak, to put it with one order from the other. And the girl at Wegmans, man, she put a bunch of crap on top of bread, so it was all smushed. Why would you do that? The second customer ordered ice cream. That, it's definitely been in my car for at least 30 minutes. And I got to drive all the way around the river to get to their house. So it's another 30 minutes till I get to their house. So they're going to have melted ice cream. So good job on your rooting, Instacart. Makes perfect sense. Oh my goodness, y'all. I've driven past these houses, but holy crap. These people got money. Alright y'all, here let me hold the phone to block the wind a little bit maybe. Tuesday morning, out on a little bike ride, just got this Instacart, 30 bucks, seven and a half miles, 32 items. All right, 
that Instacart went smooth, but both customers ordered all this crap in the deli, all this lunch meat. So I had to go bug the person in the lunch, in the lunch meat section, the deli, to cut all this meat. They wanted it shaved and sliced thin. Anyway, I'm real cool with her, so she cut it for me. I finished shopping and came back, and she was like, damn, you're done already? She's like, you beat me. Anyway, let's go drop this stuff off. I ain't been getting no orders it's about 12 30 i'm signed in on the doordash signed in on the uber signed in on the instacart and i drove out to the wagmans and it just worked out for me i got this cordova on uber eats ten dollars so good chance there's a hidden tip on it only going two and a half miles oh my god don't start no accidents don't start them if you're gonna start an accident make sure you finish it anyway uh then here's a screenshot of like the map on Instacart where Wegmans is at and like there you know Wegmans is the real one to get it oh we're gonna do it let's see if it's some trouble all right so that DoorDash was trash it was like six bucks for seven miles or something then they sent me another one at Cordoba and I was like oh we can stack it but that joint was 725 for almost seven miles so no 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 DoorDash All right, y'all, after dropping off the Uber, made my way back to Wegmans, and I got a DoorDash, 12 bucks, six miles. I took it. I was I saw a notification for her Instacart. This other girl driving by just got it. She's always up here. It was 29 bucks. That's all I got to see. She, she crack-fingered it so hard, I couldn't even, because I was looking at my DoorDash order when it popped up. I probably could have given her a run for her money with the crack finger if uh, I wasn't looking at the DoorDash. Anyway, we're going to Coal Fire, pick up this DoorDash. Got this Uber Eats Shop and Pay. $24.68 going 3.7 miles or something like that. 17 items, shopping at the Safeway. Let's go. I dropped off the uber i started heading back home because i'm gonna go walk my dog but i just accepted this doordash and i'm doing it just kind of just to see how this goes because it's you pick it up from the customer and then drop it off at ups so it's like backwards to what you would normally do 650 going almost four miles i think so eh, but 650 could be hidden tip I don't know how this works because I've never done one of these before, but the bigger thing I'm concerned with is the person lives on the third floor of an apartment. So if if this box is heavy or awkward to carry, I'm gonna cancel this order and just make my way back home. All right, so far I'm hyped on how this order is going. The guy was standing out in the parking lot, not even in front of the building I was supposed to pick it up at, but he was looking at his phone. And you know, if you've ever done this kind of work, you see people looking at their phone, looking at your car. Came up, said, Sean. I was like, yep. Handed me this little box. It's, it says progressive on it, so it's probably a car key or something. Anyway, let's go drop this joint off. This is going to be easy. All right, y'all. So, drop that package off. And that was the weirdest thing ever. Um, I checked three times. It said to go to the UPS store and drop off the package. And they wanted a picture of the receipt. They told me... 
they couldn't give me a receipt because or any tracking because it's a US PS so the post office that's why I said I looked at it three times to make sure it didn't say to drop off at the post office it's at the UPS store so I just took a picture of the box and whatever happens happens Uber shut up I know it's garbage